Hey folks, thanks so much for watching my video today. We are recapping issue number 26 of Boom Studios, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Written by Kyle Higgins and illustrated by Danielle D. This issue starts us off with Lord Draken returning to his home universe and being greeted by the Sentry General Rangers that serve him. They debrief Draken on what has happened since his absence. Lord Draken then enters a room and starts conversing with Finster 5? My guess is in this world, Finster deconstructed Alpha 5 and kept the tech for gaining new knowledge and abilities. Anywho, Lord Draken seems to genuinely have a good relationship with Finster 5, which showed a different side to Draken than what we have seen previously. Also, we learn that Draken has plans uh, for some great campaign and plans on using Ninjor as the base for that power. Guess we'll see what happens. Now, this portion of the comic hits you in the gut. The feels, man, the feels. It reminded me of the recent Power Rangers movie in 2017 when Billy died. And as a fan, you could feel your heart sink. It appears that Tommy Oliver is indeed dead. And the friends and community are gathered at his funeral paying their respects. Which leads me to believe that this comic doesn't follow the TV timeline or exact story arc. We see similarities in the direction of the story, but overall, these comics are definitely their own thing, separate from the TV show uh, we all know and adore. We then get a flashback of that day uh, to the Rangers in the command center trying to figure out what's going on with Tommy. He has no pulse. It's possible he somehow is fighting for his life in the Morphin Grid? But even Zordon himself says Tommy is indeed gone. Now the friends are left grieving the loss of Tommy. We also see an image of Jason with the dragon shield armor, similar to the show when Tommy lost his powers. You can definitely see that this is affecting Jason emotionally. Losing a team member, losing a friend, not an easy thing to you know deal with, uh, especially being a teenage superhero. Alpha 5 then contacts Jason and Zack, letting them know Jen is awake. Now at the command center, we see Jen from Time Force conversing with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger crew, and I just have to say, how cool is that? I love that Shattered Grid is given the opportunity to mash in other iconic seasons into this story arc, and we as fans get to see these characters together that we haven't seen before, at least not in this fashion. Then Jen goes on to explain she is from this world's future. But with the recent events of the Morphin Grid being cracked, things are messy and chaotic in several timelines. Jen goes on to tell the Rangers that they are the Greats, and there are many other Ranger teams after them that were inspired by what they did. What's happened in the past is set in stone. Now all they can do is try their best to stop what happens next. Jen also mentions she detected an energy so strong that matched Lord Draken's. Could this be the evil alternate version of Kimberly, the Ranger Slayer, or someone else? Guess we'll find out. Going on, we enter the timeline of the Samurai Rangers and we see them training and working on techniques. Suddenly, they hear a loud boom and we see Lord Draken and his army marching towards them. The Rangers wonder if this is Nylock which are monsters from the netherworld. The samurai rangers have a symbol shield around the Sheba house and believe nothing can get through it until Lord Draken's army fires a dragon cannon and breaks through and all hell breaks loose at that point. The samurai rangers battle the sentry rangers, uh, try to defend their ground, but the blasters the sentry rangers are packing cause the rangers to power down. Soon Lord Draken orders his soldiers to remove the ranger's morphers and also capture the Red Ranger. Back at the command center, Billy is working on a way to reach out to the coinless resistance and warn them about Lord Draken. Soon an alarm goes off with energy reading of Lord Draken in a different timeline. The rangers then teleport out, seeing as the sentry ranger's army just took out an entire team of rangers. They have to be smart about what they are going to do going forward. The team finds the Red Samurai Ranger and then gets hit with the Dragon Cannon from the Sentry Soldiers, almost causing them to power down until Billy uses a device he built that counters this attack. Basically, 
this was a rescue mission and I have a feeling that Lord Draken's army will continue to expand and because of that we'll see many seasons of Power Rangers coming together to unite as an army against Lord Draken. That's just my assumption. Now, in the last segment of this comic, we see Finster 5 conversing with Lord Draken, and it seems Lord Draken is about to undergo some kind of upgrade slash procedure. Finster 5 ensures him that there is a risk in what Lord Draken wants, but he is persistent and says the reward is worth it. We then see that Lord Draken seems to have gotten a power upgrade and slight costume change. The shield resembles more of the White Ranger style, but definitely more of a perfected hybrid. And also, it seems Lord Draken has fused some of the samurai power in his morphing sequence. I wonder if I'll see any cosplayers at Power Morphicon this year with this version of the suit. Would be really cool, I have to say that. We also see that Finster 5 and Lord Draken are using Ninjor as a base of knowledge for access in the Morphin Grid. They are creating more Sentry Ranger armor and have so much more to conquer. To be continued. Now, the image that's displayed in this last page, I can't say that I know what it is, but it looks so familiar. If any of you know what that hologram is, let me know. Otherwise, it could simply be something new to the story uh, and not a reference. I totally enjoyed this second issue to the Shatter Grid event. It had the action, the story was there, and continues. Uh, we have the feels and nostalgia, uh, even new surprises and costume changes. Uh, what did you all think of this issue? Have you read uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number 26 yet? I hope you did before watching this video, which contained major spoilers. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so you can get the latest scoop on these comics and more on my cosplay journey as well. Until next time, guys, wham, bam, boom.